so in this video we will be learning how how we basically define the objective of you know any reinforcement learning problem okay so first of all let's understand what is objective so objective is like any type of goal that you give to anyone not only agent like a human being also and uh, you also give some certain time like obviously in rl problem we have episodic and continuous task in real life also there is different type of these type of task okay so suppose uh, there is a employee and there is a manager who gave uh, you know a research work to its employee and the time con uh, constraint was 5 days okay now in in that 5 days the employee has to do research and based on you know all his skill set he will be submitting some report now manager will give feedback okay uh, this was 70% good 30% bad like that I mean suppose an example so this is how we define uh, objective in real time now in terms of reinforcement learning so the objective of reinforcement learning isn't is to you know learn the optimal policy that maximize a numerical reward signal so in re uh, in reinforcement learning an agent interact with an environment and you know make decisions based on the observation it received from the environment the agent you know i mean goal is to learn that particular optimal action to take in each step which is or you know which will give maximum reward or you can say max maximum you know cumulative reward over time and that is what any goal will be for any agent okay and uh, you know the reward signal basically provides you uh, feedback okay it's so what we understand with feedback so for for any agent how the quality of the action was and it will understand it through you know feedback so basically f uh, you know that particular reward provides feedback to the agent uh, about the quality uh, was the action of the action okay so this is achieved through trial and error learning which we usually do in real life also where the agent explore the environment by taking action and observe the resulting state and you know reward and update its you know policy accordingly now like we understood like what is the ultimate goal of RL agent is, is it is to you know maximize the cumulative reward over time so by how it is you know it will do all this so it will do by you know learning optimal policy you know that map state and action and uh, this can be achieved in various way like you know value based method policy based method or combination of both so moreover we will be looking into uh, all these type of learning uh, uh, just after you know two to three more videos so let's understand you know how you will be defining objective if you have such cases for example this one so consider an ep episodic task and uh, like you are playing tic-tac-toe game and uh, how do you determine you know reward for each move you make such as mark o or an x okay so obviously the reward you will get it uh, you know uh, at the end of the game either you win or lose in that ca case what will be the agent ultimate goal so let's understand okay this one now what is the ultimate goal of you know tic-tac-toe game obviously it is you know achieve uh, x, or, uh, x or o either horizontally vertically or diagonally right so so uh, so uh, agent is like a software program that learn from its environment and take action to maximize it rewards like i just mentioned so in tic-tac-toe game a reinforcement learning and uh, you know ultimate goal will be to win the game by placing three mark uh, of the same kind of you know uh, you know either x or o in a row column or diagonal okay and the agent receive a positive reward like for plus one for winning a negative reward minus one for losing and no reward for drawing or you know obviously continue the game so this way the agent learned by updating its value for each state and action pair based on its experience so hope you understand how you you will be you know uh, defining this so you will be defining all the rewards so for for reaching goal there will be reward like plus one for losing game uh, you, you will reward minus one and for drawing you will give no reward and you will create some mathematical expression that will help us uh, basically reach 
this uh, horizontal vertical and diagonal thing so on on the other hand we have continuous ta ta you know uh, task like stock market trading so you can divide uh, you can define the reward as you know amount of profit earned over over a given period of time like month week uh, day such conti uh, you know such continuing uh, task have no fixed end point right obviously it, it it don't have any fixed end point like we have you know discussed in previous video as well now the question is how you how do you parameterize this type of objective okay so pa uh, to parameterize the agent objective we need to define obviously the reward function okay that reflect your trading goal and preferences the reward function is a mathematical expression that uh, you know assign a numerical value to each state or the action of the agent for example you can you know use profit or loss of each trade as a uh, you know as a reward or you can say uh, use a risk adjusted measure such as sharp ratio sortino ratio okay like that these type of thing you can use and the and then the agent objective is to you know maximize the expected cumulative reward over time so hope you understand how we you know uh, deal with all the obje uh, objective in the reinforcement learning problem so uh, we'll see more over in uh, you know upcoming videos okay